Welcome back to another episode of Carson's Aquatics. Today is a very exciting day, and that's because in this video, we are going to be delivering these eight red belly piranhas to none other than Fnatic. He is a fellow YouTuber. I think he has almost 500,000 subscribers, I believe. So a lot of you guys definitely know him. I've personally never met him before. So I'm super excited for this. We're gonna be filming with him. We're gonna be filming with Christopher Scott, and it's gonna be a fun time. I'm gonna be there for four days, so we're hoping to film like five or six videos. It's currently 2.28 on Saturday. We are leaving tomorrow morning around seven, and we've got a lot of packing and preparing to do. We are making a 10 hour drive with these fish. So it's going to be a long haul. We've got to make sure these guys are packed well. We're pretty much going to have them in like a big plastic tub and have an aerator running in there for them. I still need to buy that. I still need to buy a couple other things for this trip. And you guys are going to see all that. We're going to get packed up. We're going to come back and feed all these animals before we leave. And then yeah, we're going to hit the road bright and early in the morning. But right now we do need to head out to the stores and get everything we need. All right guys, well I'm here in the container aisle and there really isn't that much. And all these seem pretty thin. It needs to be able to hold a good amount of water so we got to get one that's nice and thick and this is the sturdiest looking one that i could find you can see when i push on it it doesn't flex all that much and i want one that was like a solid color so we're going with this black one all right guys so we're over here in the fishing section looking at the air pumps they've got this tiny one and then this medium sized one and then this huge one and i think this should be the perfect size so we're gonna go ahead and pick this thing up all right, you guys just got done inside of Walmart. We got our plastic tub and we got our aerator and that should be everything we need to actually transport the fish. Now we just need to go home and pack everything. I have a huge long checklist of everything I need. So we're gonna run through that, get all ready to go and I'll see you guys at home. All right, guys, so we are back from the stores. I'm getting ready to get all my stuff packed up. But first I wanna make sure the plastic tub is ready to go for the fish. We're gonna drill some holes in the lid so the oxygen can get in. And then I think I also wanna fill it up at least a little bit with water just to make sure it can hold water. It should be able to. It feels pretty sturdy but first we are going to go ahead and drill those holes in the top the lights flash every time i do this look all right so now that our lid has been drilled we're going to take this tub outside and fill it up with water and just make sure it can hold it All right, it can indeed hold water. All righty guys, and as you can see here, our piranha transport bin is all done. I drilled four more holes in the lid so that I could run this shoelace through the lid to secure the bubble box to it. Then I already put the batteries in there. It took two D batteries and you can hear it work in there. And then yeah, the air tube goes down there into a hole and right into the middle of the bin. It's gonna be perfect. So we're gonna turn that off and this is good to go. I'm gonna set this right over by the piranha tank so it's ready to go first thing in the morning. And now all we really have left to do is finish packing then we need to feed the animals and we're gonna go ahead and do that now Alrighty guys, all the animals have been fed. The piranha bin is ready to go. Now all there's really left to do is get myself ready and then head to bed. So I'm gonna pack up the rest of my stuff, get some sleep, and I'll see you guys bright and early in the morning. Alrighty guys, so it is the next morning. It is just about 7.30 a.m. We're running about 45 minutes behind, but that's all right. I just got the truck all loaded up. It is good to go. And now the last thing I need to do is get these piranhas ready to go. And yeah, here are all the piranhas right here. You can see how many of them have a friggin' chunk bitten out of them now, but they're all doing good. We still got eight. But now let's fill up another bucket with tank water and get it all loaded up into the truck. Alrighty guys, well we are on the road. I'm stopping for gas real quick, filling all the way up. And then we're gonna be going for about four hours straight. And I'm probably gonna stop for Chick-fil-A actually. We got the fish right here. I also strapped them down. Cooler right here that actually reminds me I'm gonna go grab some ice. Alrighty guys, we got gas, we got ice. I also just filled up my spare tire with a little bit more air. God forbid we get a flat tire in the middle of nowhere. But yeah, we're good to go. We're gonna hit the road. We'll grab a couple chicken biskies and then we'll probably drive for another four, four and a half hours after that. Then we'll do one or two updates on the fish while we're on the road, make sure they're all doing good. And yeah, I don't really know when exactly I'm gonna see you next, but whenever it is, I'll see you then.
All right, guys, so we have now been on the road for three hours. I was gonna go to Chick-fil-A, but I realized it was Sunday and they're closed on Sundays. So I just pulled up to Zaxby's, about to munch. But before I do, I do want to check on the piranhas back there, make sure they're all doing good. All right, so you can see there, it's a little wet around the bin. And I think that's just from splashing. Like you can see, it probably splashes up in these holes whenever we go over a bump. Yep, still plenty of water in there, so we definitely don't have a leak. And it looks like all the fish are good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, all alive. All right, awesome, I'm gonna cover this back up. Now I'm going to destroy these chicken tenders. Then we'll be back on the road and I'll probably see you guys whenever we stop for gas. All right, guys, we are four and a half hours into the drive. I want to check on our piranhas. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All alive, good to go. So we're going to get all this covered back up. And I'm hoping this tank of gas can get us the rest of the way there. It's probably not going to, so we're probably going to have to stop again. But I think the next time I pick up the camera is going to be when we arrive at Chris's house. Unless something goes like horribly wrong on the rest of the drive. Hopefully it doesn't. And hopefully the next time I see you guys will be when we pull up to Chris's house. Alrighty guys, so I just pulled up to Chris's house and I actually beat him here. He'll be here in about five minutes, but I do want to go ahead and check on the piranhas. Please all be alive. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, all alive. Very good, we're gonna put that back on. And yeah, now we're just gonna wait for Chris to get home and then I think we're heading straight over to Brenton's to drop these piranhas off. So I'll see you in a second. And just hey. like that, we're in Brenton's room. So we already went ahead and put the piranhas in here. I got a bunch of footage of that, so I'm gonna go ahead and roll that right now. So these have been on this whole drive with you. Yep. Dude, you're a legend. We don't even know if they're alive. Those are straight up red belly piranhas. So cool. Oh, that's dope. They're so small. They've taken chunks out of each other. Yummy. Cool. Yeah. Oh, they're in. Oh, God. All right, we got two more. Oh, okay. Look at that one! Oh my know, God! That's, that's the worst one. His back is <laughs> He's got a double chunk. <laughs> All right, that one has also been, I don't know how he's alive. Where's the big one? Who did this? Yeah, we, yeah we'll see. It's that oh, one. Oh, it's this one. Yeah. I really want to see its teeth. Oh, those yeah. are teeth. Those are straight up piranha okay. teeth. Goodbye. What the piranhas, bro. I, what do you think? I mean, bro, thank you. Look no at problem, them. Bro. I mean, we have double chunk. Uh, that's one chunk. of the one that's in here. Chunk one, chunk two. Chunk one, chunk, chunk two. Dude, what about the big one? What's his name? I don't know, Muhammad. But no, bro. I mean, my thing is, I want to, I want to feed him so bad. And Mr. Muffin Man, which is a Paco, always has mm -hmm. resembled a piranha, but it hasn't just fully been there. Nope. If we could drop like a worm in here or a puppy. All right, guys, so it is the next day. We are back over here checking in on the piranhas. You can see they're all out and about. So we are going to drop in some worms for them. I think they're gonna go for them. Let's find out, you ready? Dude, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. honestly actually really here, nervous. Let me, get, let me get your worm. Should I just drop it in the middle? No. Oh. <gasps> yes. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> it's gone. Here. Oh my God, they're ripping it apart. Oh, you said oh. 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 He just oh. ripped that thing like it was oh nothing. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Well, now we're talking, look at that. Oh yeah, now would be a great time for a GoPro. Oh my goodness. There we go. Oh gosh, totally oh, yeah. All right, guys, so that pretty much is gonna wrap up this video. It was amazing. Yes. I now have piranhas. But no, thank you, bro, seriously. Yeah, no problem. That's crazy. Thank I'm you for excited. Having me. Yeah, I'm excited to see what people say about it. And when we feed them, like, beef hearts, chicken liver, yeah. all the above. Small children. But yeah, I am down here for a few more days, so we're gonna make a bunch of videos for you guys, so stay tuned for all those. In fact, right now, we're getting ready to film a full tour of all his animals. Yeah, it's gonna be a good time, so that pretty much is gonna wrap up this video. And today's comment of the day goes out too. And if you want your comment to be the comment of the day in the next video, all you gotta do is drop a comment down below, and that could happen. And if you liked this video, be sure to hit that like button, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications, and I'm gonna see you in the next video. Peace!